Welcome back to the MansionPoker.com. Poker Dome Challenge, it's the most technologically advanced poker venue in the world. This facility beyond state-of-the-art, it's jam-packed with more than 50 cameras and microphones. Check this out, a live studio audience that can see in, players cannot see out. Robert Mayo is our leading player. 92,000, he's been a front runner the whole way. Zach Williamson at 65,000. Mike English now, 5,000 to the good. Brian Munchauer at 39,000. And Randy Studeman and Roy Obrecht, both short stack, 44 and 25,000 chips apiece. My name's Barry, that's Michael next to me. And Leanne's with us also. Just kind of like this, where nothing happens. Call. Williamson, since the boys have been raised to two and four, has called oh. twice in late position. I think that is a habit he needs to break quickly. So two to the flop. Six and a pair of sevens on the flop. It's English the big favorite. Check. Williamson well, going to be aggressive here. Yeah, and you know, the, the flip side of his call in late position strategy is because nobody's getting out of line and re-raising him, if they miss the flop and check, he just puts in a small bet and, and steals it. Yeah, well stolen, I thought, that time by Williamson. This is the kind of table, Barry, where if the players bet, they have something. If they don't, they missed. Exactly. Cool. And again, look at this. I mean, there's hardly anything for anyone to be proud of. Mayo and Ace Nine. Raise suited. a pot. He's going to raise a pot. I got to think that'll be enough. Yeah, and he will add six thousand more Bull. chips to his stack, bringing Bull. him very close to the one hundred thousand chip mark. It's a great feeling in a poker tournament of any size to have actually doubled your original stake. He's got one third of the chips on the table. The question is, what will he do with that? Well, he's played very steadily so far. And, and as you mentioned, for a guy who has not won more than $50 in a poker game at any time. Old. Now let's see how Studeman plays old. this pair of kings. Be in the big blind, Barry, and he'll just hope that somebody gets out of line and raises in front of him. I mean, English has a pretty good hand for the button. I can see him raising. Call. He just calls, and that's actually not the recommended play there, but it's going to end up saving him. Oh, and look at this. Munchauer's calling, too. Yeah. Studeman can, I think, if he pots it, get almost all his chips in play. Just about. So he does do that. Let's see if he gets any takers. Time runs out on English. Okay. And my jar full. So Stephen will win the hand. That'll get him back to 32,000 now, and uh, it will make Olbrecht the short stack at 23. Well, you have a chance to experience the most exciting poker atmosphere on television. Six online qualifiers are flowing to Las Vegas every week to play speed poker right here in the Poker Dome. And we would love to welcome you to the game. So log on to MansionPoker.com and you can get a shot at the million dollar payday. One of these players will fill the second seat of our final qualifying table. Carl Olson, our winner last week. Pretty Bull. simple. Win three one-table tournaments, you're a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rob. Much hour, baby. thousand here. That's the minimum raise. Studeman should fold, but Mayo's getting an extremely good price here with the King Nine. He's got the extra chips, and he's getting more than three to one. Yeah, he does call. Catches a king on the very first card and a nine.
and I think he can check here. I mean, Munchauer was the guy who originally showed strength. Mayo checks it. Let's see if Munchauer gets himself in trouble. Mayo has just played beyond his experience. That's 8,000. Can Mayo get the rest Call. of his chips? Call. chance to win, he would do exactly what he did there, check. Hope that the guy makes a move in the pot. Check. There two checks. So two checks. And check. How much is in the pot? 34,000. 25. 34, 25. And that represents... <laughs> more than what Munchauer has like remaining. Come on, dude. <laughs> and he's going to fold. Well played again by Mayo. So Mayo will increase his chip lead now as he gets himself to 116,000 chips. Robert Mayo has continued to be our chip leader, and uh, he's really put it to everybody. Zach Williamson right there still at 71,000, but look at Munchauer, short stacked at 15,000. There he is, Robert Mayo. He says he wants to be the Donald Trump of Kalamazoo, Michigan, and <laughs> hey, maybe he will be. Right now, Barry, he's been saying to the rest of the table, you're fired. <laughs> and the rest of the table is saying, please, somebody, hold the mayo. Oh, very good. Oh. Well, at this point, well, English has got the hooks. Oh, and he's hoping to catch himself a customer. As you see, however, oh. even our chip leader doesn't really have anything to play with. I don't know anybody does here. Oh. Couple of hearts here, and that could make Obrek the player despite that jack. I call. Obrek gets his the last of his chips in there on a five high flush draw, and English with the top set. Automatic call. Look at that heart rate on English, it's nearly double. For the first time, we have drama here. Full house. That's it. Obrek is out. English. We'll okay, pick okay. up the Good chips, luck, and we are down to five. Wow, and I, I'll tell you, we wouldn't have found too much smart money that would have bet that Obrecht would be the first player to leave. Most experienced player at the table, it just goes to show you. I mean, you can expect the unexpected here. The poker dome. Tell him. So he makes that walk Tell nobody him. wants to make. <laughs> well, are you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever? Every week, six lucky players get flown out here to Las Vegas and get a chance to compete inside the Poker Dome. And we'd love to welcome you to the game, so log on to mansionpoker.com and you can earn a shot at $1 million. Roy Obrecht won't get that shot. He is our first player eliminated.